Hey, what's up everyone? Let me get my seat adjusted, but today we're on the lake. We do some BFS fishing and I am gonna be using the Cast King Castro Elite BFS reel. That's right. Now, no one's here yet, but uh, uh, I guess I can talk, I'll talk about the uh, setup very quick because uh, this is definitely gonna be replayed. I have the Surinoya, okay, the C702L light rod. I got Varus Go 4. This is uh, thick line at the moment because I was actually throwing uh, some heavier lures but uh, it didn't do too well so I'm going back fast although this 8 pound monofilament this is the very very CD mono it's like more like 6 pound American line so it's not too bad right now I'll be throwing a bait. this is the mega bass their great hunting smaller jerk bait singing okay and yeah, casting elite hey what's up guys getting going by the way uh, I'm sitting back Hopefully you guys can see me. And yeah, I'm just Kevin Kestrel. Uh, made two videos so far on uh, this morning. Uh, so I'm going to edit, edit, edit them soon. Uh, so you guys just sometime this week. But right now I'm in this cove right here. And I'm this morning, and I went around just trying to do something. Yeah, got a fish right here. I wasn't doing too well, so I came back right here. So, um... I hope to get a six pounder. Maybe not things galore. But right now, I'm on fire with the perch. Look at this. Live white perch fishing. Ay, 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 ay. E easy. Alright, so I swapped hooks out of these uh, trouble. Uh, you know what? Going live sometimes, it's interesting because uh, I mess up all the time like when I talk. But uh, I have swapped two single hooks here and they're barbless, so it makes everything easier for me, especially handling these. Uh, Perch, who likes to clear out its gills and it has spikes everywhere. But yeah, so far this Castro, oh, got another bite. It's interesting. I don't want to ruin it. Oh, got a fish. I don't want to ruin it for you guys, but uh, I could cast it pretty accurate. Distance wise, mm, it's okay. I mean, uh, it's better than a lot of CDM reels. Oh, wow, this, this, one, this one's biting. Oh, popped off. Popped off. All right, let me just play around with my drag for a second. I think uh, I had it too high for fishing bass earlier. What rod am I using? I am using the Surinoya Dragon, the C702L. Okay, it's a light tackle rod. It has a moderate bend to it. It's a fair type of rod at the moment. Uh, that you get in the US, you guys get this at Bait Finesse Empires. Or well, you guys get it at Surinoya store for And yeah, every cast is a bite. And uh, I'm hoping that I can reel in a uh, fish every single cast. Uh, yes. <laughs> Jerk baits are great, man. Look at this. Bam. Hey, 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 easy. Look at that. And like I said, switching off to uh, single hooks, barbless makes it a lot easier to handle. I lost two boards today, which is very, very sad. Those pick rods are here. So, um, yeah, I upped my line to a uh, pound rather than four pounds, and I'm hoping not to lose any more offensive JP. Here's one on fire. Look, here's another one. Another white. Here's a white perch per day. I should re edit the, the title. Every cast is a freaking freaking fish. Uh, hold up, I see some questions, and I gotta move up just a little bit. Um, drag clicker, you wanna hear the drag clicker? Sure. Ready? Hear it? One more time. Eh, eh, eh. Okay, that's the drag clicker. It's a uh, very very subtle compared to the Japanese stuff. Uh, a little concerning if you guys, especially you guys fishing uh, streams, right? All right, um, let's, hey, what's up, the hookup? Uh, let's see, what else, what else? So we're gonna make great rods. So yeah, uh, so we're gonna make really, really good rods. Uh, I haven't tried cooking yet, but uh, maybe one day, maybe one day, what else? A fish magnet, yep, what rod am I using? Okay, so no more questions at the moment. Uh, back to fishing. It seems like the fish are on that side. So let me turn back around. 
I guess I'll cast here for a second and turn around. But yeah, I found a spot over there and it's all over the place. Oh, that's a bite. Oh, that's a bite. Hold up. Hold up. Alright, so. Didn't pull up a fish that time. That's definitely like a bite bite. That's a bite right there. Oh, there we go. I could probably uh, load the drag here too. Okay. Guess what fish it is? It's not a white perch. Look at that. So, yeah, uh, if you guys are interested in learning about this uh, video, I have the unboxing video already. You can check that out. I dropped it today. And uh, I fished so far on an ultra light setup. And I am fishing it out with the light, and I just wrapped up that video and decided to, um, you know, go live here. Oh, just lost the fish. There's a lot of perch today, guys. But uh, yeah, this jerk bait is fun. This mega bass jerk bait. I got this at uh, Discount Tackle. Yes, I don't get everything from uh, Empires. <laughs> uh, from uh, Discount Tackle too. should portray to you guys it's this is so much fun i have so much noise here do you guys want me to put a jig on with soft plastic or go with another hard plastic let me know right now in the comments below and oh 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 it came off yeah let me know in the comments below right now hard bait or a soft plastic jig let me know right now and i'll change to something else i'm gonna do a few more casts oh there we go ah i popped off again oh 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 no, it was swinging towards me. Then I dropped it. Yeah, these are barbless hooks, so uh, sometimes they just come right off. But it's okay. They're, they're just all around right now. And they're popping, too. Like, some of them were hitting my top water bait. Like, this, this guy just came right here and uh, hit right by my kayak. All right, so I am about to check the comments, so you guys better let me know. Hard bait or a jig? Oh, came right by the kayak. All right, so let me just take this off for a second. I'm definitely cutting this guy off because uh, this is a fun lure, but um, I've been fishing this for a little bit. And, uh, I want to put it on the side. So let's see what you guys said in the comments. Uh, let's go to live chat for a second. Uh, jig time, soft plastic. All right, soft plastic it is, guys. Uh, do I have any luck with Senko? If so, what colors? Let me tell you guys about Senkos. I do not throw Senkos. A thumbs down to, to Senko. Senko's a waste of money because uh, it breaks very easily. And then, uh, you know, a lot of people litter Senko's everywhere. So what I don't like to do is portray Senko's. Although it's a flip. I have used it. I'm not going to lie. I used it back in the day. I love using it. But I don't want to promote a lure where people would use it. Like, yes, I can hold it. But if I portray it, maybe potentially less people will use it. Or if people do use it, they'll be responsible, right? And, um, oh well, I don't know. Anyways, this is what I'm doing. I put a 16th ounce jig head and put a soft plastic on. All right, so, what do I have here? Some, um, all right, I guess the first thing I have here is a Euro Tackle B Vibe, two inches on uh, white pearl. So let's put this on and see what I can get. What's my favorite lore? I'm gonna tell you guys my favorite lore right now. And if it's not because of uh, social social media, I would just use this 24 seven, but it will get boring. And that is uh, simply a small jig head like this, 1 16th ounce and a two inch grub tail. That's it, super cheap, everyone can afford it. And uh, you get a box of jig heads, 1 32nd, 1 16th and 1 8th. And you get plastics from two inch, three inch and four inch. And if you master that tackle box, one whole season, you know, winter, spring summer fall you will be a better fisherman than a lot of other folks because the key of fishing at least for me is when i finish finesse fish i always try to pick the right size bait with the right size weight so i can effectively cover the water column and uh, a lot of people uh, pick something and just try, try and try and they don't know why they're trying and why it's successful but if you do take the time to figure out 
how to do that, you become a better fisherman. And that's why I always recommend people to fish jigs because they can just you know, do small they have lures, like just like I said, a tackle box with 32nd ounce, 16th ounce, and uh, eighth ounce, and two inch, three inch, and four inch grub tails. You guys will become master, uh, masters of covering the water column. Okay. But anyway, uh, enough rambling. I'm gonna paddle back out and see if I can slay. And um, I don't know why this chat is going away. My fair colors, uh, white, chartreuse, and uh, what do you call that? Green blanket. Okay. But let me this way. The wind is blowing me this way. And I hope you guys can hear me well because uh, the wind is kind of blowing a little bit here and there. And I'm sitting pretty far back. And I need to adjust my seat for a second. And uh, I think they've blown me into the cove where all the fish are at. So let me just fix my seat. Here we go. Okay. So yeah, hopefully I've answered your question. And now I gotta swing around because I probably scared all the fish away. Oh, oh, that's a bite right there. That's a bite right there. Got him. Yeah, yeah. Here you guys go. Another healthy white perch. Look at that. All right. I'm gonna try a little bit more in the open. But yeah, today it's been white perch day. Oh, this landed. Probably back down just a little bit more. This one's a little bit uh, spicier. Houston, Texas. I am in New Jersey, by the way, for those uh, who are wondering. And for those who don't know, New Jersey, I'm pretty much next to Philadelphia. All right, all right. The girl tackle is slaying it. Hope you guys are having a wonderful Sunday, by the way. Uh, oh, there's a bite right there. That's a bite right there. Yes. Yeah, I gotta say thank you to my wife for uh, And then of course I gotta thank you guys for coming into my live stream. And I gotta thank you guys for watching my videos. And for those people who came in here so far and smashed that thumbs up button, thank you guys. Thank you guys. This fish is for you. Uh, but uh show you guys a tool right here. Unhook them. See that? It's a little bit uh, of a pincher thing. You put it in there, slide it right at the hook, and uh, you unhook them. Oh, got it out and I hooked them again. Oh, hey, give me the tail back. There we go. All right. Cool stuff, eh? Anyways, let's paddle just a little bit further and see if we catch something else other than white perch. Maybe I get a little closer to the weed beds right there. Maybe I will get like a, a bass or a bluegill or something like that. But yeah, this cove has been magic. I caught just about everything but a crappy today. Right here. Off, on, off, on, off. Come on. Ay, uh, all right. I got a question about the cast straw, it seems. Um, oh, there's a lot of crappies in this lake, my friend. A lot. It's not here at the moment. So, let's see. Uh, oh, yeah, 100 degrees. Temperature is bad. Today is not too bad, not too bad. It's uh, 78 degrees, maybe? No, it's probably a lot better now. Uh, I think it's like 80 something degrees. How loud is the Kestrel when casting? It's pretty loud. Um, by the way, I did flush out my bearing. I used thinner, thinner lubricant, so you guys will hear the bearing. And I'm gonna cast it right now, right over the camera, so you can hear the brakes, ready? That's the same, I mean, it's not too bad. Uh, not too bad at all, but uh, I don't want to ruin it for you guys. I want you guys to actually walk 
watch the full episode, so I don't talk too much about the Kestro today. But I have to say, I am casting at zero breaks. Love me. Zero breaks. All day long, zero breaks. Oh, got a fish. I was gonna uh, sit back down and uh, get situated. But I do see some more chat messages. Eep, eep, eep. Another nice white perch. All right, let's see what people are saying. Hi, what's up, dude? All right. Let me sit back down. Get away from the sun. I think the sun is uh, in your way. I can see that it's kind of like dark on the screen. So let me turn this way. There we go. I can see my face now. I'm going to fish a little closer to the windblown side right over there. And uh, I'm going to pedal in there very slowly. Well, I probably don't need to pedal at all because uh, the wind's blowing me into there. But I'm getting pecked right here like crazy. If I get closer enough to the walls and the banks, I'll probably catch a bass, I'll probably catch a bluegill. Like, all over the place today. Uh, fish right there. Hmm. Yeah, I think all the, the hot stuff is where the perch are at. But I'm just gonna fish some of this area with this windblown side for a few casts and then I'm back out over there. Alright, there's no action here. I'm going back out. Let's go this way. Oh, there's a bite. Oh, no, no. There's a bite again. These perch are just nipping the wrap of my tail. All right, let's fix that. Hot perch, perch. Let's oh, fish. Fish. And um, you guys probably guessed it. It's another. White perch. Hey, 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 hey. All right. So, what do you guys say? Should I switch to another lure? Let me know right now. If you guys want to see me switch, I'll show you guys a couple other lures. Some top water bites over there. And uh, see what I can hear. Oh, you guys haven't seen me catch Jimmy Man. Got a fish. Oh, yeah. Oh, Mondo, 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 guys. Mondo. Look at that. Look at this big white perch. Probably the biggest one of. Uh, this live stream session, so I'm gonna just hold up like this. Let's go. That. All right, guys. Let's go on a different lure, shall we? You guys like hard baits? Hmm. I could like a uh, uh, bear hook and uh, you know catch some fish. Probably can. All right, I'm gonna let you guys vote right up. Got two more right here. Oops. Oh. That all. All right, all right. This guy here with this. This here. All right. All right. Here we go. So guys, two lures right now. Okay. Uh, this right here is Bottle Magic from Jackson. Is a sticking pencil stick that dies. And when it does hit the bottom, which I won't be fishing the bottom today because there's a lot of gunk, right? It'll stand up like that. But when you actually twitch it, it does like a motion. Okay. So two hooks, two hooks, 
or Amish the Goji Shimmy Meadow. What do you guys want to see? Bomb Magic Shimmy Meadow. Let me know. Uh, I like to tie loop knots for these two. The first person that answers, I'll use the lure. Right? But yeah, let me just check the chat for a second. You do let me know. Because uh, this going to be the last one I'm using right now. Uh, started my channel and bought a kayak. Congratulations, kayak fishing is the best cow. Good, yep, of course, man. I gotta show a lot of baits and show you guys love. All right, looks like people want to see the shimmy minnow, so I'll show you guys the shimmy minnow. Now, about the shimmy minnow, you should always fish it with a loop knot or a clip. I don't like using a clip because it adds weight to the front. So, right now, I'm doing something called the Mickey Mouse knot. What is the Mickey Mouse knot? Look at that. You create like two little loops like that. You take the second loop, put it in right there. And uh, you pull the first one, get it nice and small. Then you get the shimmy mono. Put the baddie in here. Uh, the Mickey Mouse knot is basically a bolt, bolt knot. And a lot of people also call it the new man knot. And when you get this thing done down like this, you get it very, very small. And then you pull it away. Nice and tight. You guys probably can't see the knot, but it's actually very, very small. Smaller than the eye of the Lord. The key of fishing this guy here is when you guys do slow roll, this thing actually roll like this. Okay, it rolls really well, and you actually let it sit uh, slack line. It falls, and it also shimmies on a fall. So let's see uh, if we catch some fish with this today. Let me sit back a little bit more. It's approximately three grams, so it's it's a great great lure to throw for trout if you guys are in streams or shallow lakes like what i'm doing right now uh i fish just like a spoon or a sinking jerk bait and uh if you guys are fishing in a creeks what i like to do is swing it in the current and that does really well but right now let's see where those fish are at distance wise not too bad you guys can see it but you know my camera is this way uh, look around a little bit, see where the fish are at now. Perch are interesting, they're always on the move. But today they staying very close to the same, same area. And the wind is blowing me too. Oh, got him. Oh, came right off. Uh what's I heard something about what size my kayak? I have a 12, 12 footer. This is a Hobie Outback. So right now I'm just letting this thing uh, sink to the bottom and I'm just slow rolling it and I'm getting taps all over the place. Oh, got a bite right there. Got him, got him, got him. Got him. Bring it around this way. All right. Whoa, 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 easy. Easy white perch. White perch is a lure. Not too bad. In next season, like spring, I'll try like a tidal river because man, no white perch could be like twice the size of that. It's freaking amazing. Alright. Whoa, that was a crazy bite. It just nailed my uh lore. There you go. I'm glad you learned something, but uh, yeah, my channel is all about sharing knowledge. So I am happy to hear that you guys are learning things, especially even on my live stream, because live stream is like, uh, everything is random, nothing is planned. Things come, things go, you know, you guys come, you guys go, you guys ask questions. I do my best to answer them if I, if I see it, right? So yeah, man. All right, this is so much fun that I might want to switch to the other hard bait too. Because that lure is actually very fun too. And uh, yeah, these two lures you guys get at Big Finesse Empires. The Shimmy Minnow, I got it a long time ago. And uh, 
I introduced it to Amir and he was like, dude, it's gonna go really well in the store. And uh, I believe uh, people love the Shiny Minnow. All right, let's try this way. The spot where I got blown into earlier, changing lures, that's where the hot spot is. So I'm gonna turn back around. Oh, that's a bite, that's a bite. Twitch. Oh. Man, they, they're loving this, this one right here. Uh-oh. Running out of line. All right, well, that's the end of it. So I am gonna switch to one last lore, the bottom magic, and we're gonna call it. But yeah, I did por uh, portray these lures in my full episode, so, oh, what the heck just happened? Something just jumped right there, it just blew up like crazy. Aya, aya, aya. Well, not too, but uh, yeah, what the heck? Let's, let's try a loop knot. This time, I'll try a different loop knot. Gotta do the good old knot. Uh, crazy knot. Right there. One, two, three. Hey, hey, hey. Uh, trim this guy. Alright, let's go, guys. Let's go. Bottom magic right here. It's magic. Oh. Michael Chatterbait. Yeah, it's the flashback mini. Uh funny story like uh when i first got into bait finesse right like a while ago and bait finesse wasn't like too hype yet in social media but like on facebook and stuff not a lot of people were using it and i remember first posting a few times and a lot of people just got onto the flashback mini they freaking people just love it but uh unfortunately i lost two flashback minis today to a pickero so uh no more flashback mini right now but um, yeah, you guys could definitely, definitely so uh, chat about flashback mini in the episode. Uh, you know, I've recorded today. It's amazing. It's such a simple lore. All I do is catch and just slow roll it. It catches fish. You know? it just works. Now the fish are probably on now. I probably need to turn back around. Uh, let's move. Let's try some open water. Bite. Oh, fish are, oh, came off. Yeah, this is a slow moving, a slow falling stick bait. Oh, got a fish. Oh, 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 got him, got him, got him, got him, got him, got him. Oh, came off again. These are barbless hooks, by the way. So sometimes it's just, uh, they do flop off. And I'm glad that there's actually two hooks on it. It's gonna have a higher hook ratio uh, than just one hook. Oh yeah, they're, they're out here now. But I do want to paddle out just a little bit more and turn back around because the sun, the glare is on you guys. I can barely see my face. It's like dark. So I'm just paddle out and come back around. Let's turn this up. There we go. Oh, bite. I'm loving this various multicolor line because a lot of times, especially when these slow falling lures, you have to watch your line for the tick. Like I'm fishing this basically slack line. I'm twitching it, I'm twitching it. And uh, sometimes I'm just watching the line go, right? You can see the line jump, but you do not even feel it at all with your rod. So that's interesting. Uh -oh. Always clean your lures when you have uh, some weeds on it, guys. Always clean your lures. Don't. Um, don't slack off because sometimes with some of these lures, you have have to clean off uh, 
the lore or you know there's no bites and the action sucks uh what's up jimmy more salt water for me um maybe maybe i mean i'm close to the shore not too bad like an hour away but uh it's far you know i have a kid now it's it's a lot different you know like i'm pretty much going home right after this uh live stream session here i want to at least pull two fish i'm just trying to find where the all the hot bites are at with this uh, bottom magic and then i'm gonna call it you know daddy duty you know hubby duty i had to mow the lawn today too man <laughs> you guys want to come and mow my lawn for me so i can go fish more <laughs> oh man being being a grown-up you know you gotta be a grown-up all right so maybe the fish are not digging this lure or they're just gone or i caught them all let me tell you guys exact well i don't have an exact count but i'm over 100 fish today from i guess 7 a.m when i started ultralight fishing finesse fishing it's not too bad i don't know where the heck the fish all went all right that's where i saw something pop up second ago what hold up Someone got a question where is the chat why does it keep disappearing is it way too much that's time best 50 dollar is there such thing as the best fifty dollar bait caster? I don't know. Um, intri those entry level style bait casters, you know, budget bait caster. It's not really my cup of tea. You know, um, maybe the Abu Garcia Black Max X. That's about fifty dollars. All right, so this lure right here, not getting any more bites. I do want to catch one. Cause this lore is so cool. Yeah, I think the fish are gone. Yeah, once I find them, you know, I put on the live stream, caught a few fish, and uh, they're they're pretty much gone. I bet you I put back a uh, the grub tail on. It's it's gonna start biting again. popping out in the water they don't want this guy oh oh there we go there we go there we go swim it faster all right cool 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 here we go now i can end the video <laughs> here we go Aye! yes this lure has rattles in it too so when you walk this guy it makes a lot of commotion and this is why uh when i was fishing it earlier with a you know different episode you know, actual YouTube episode, not live streaming. It was doing so well. And actually I used this lore live stream uh, on Instagram and it did so well at that time. But right now, I guess it's later on in the day, the bite got a little bit different. But those was calling them. I mean, the water here is milky. It's getting warmer, you know. Fish are slowing down. Anyways, I'm gonna turn the kayak around so I can actually see the screen because it's very odd looking. The sun's in the way. And uh, I'm gonna answer any questions that you guys have before I end the video. Because uh, like I said, I gotta go get home, do home stuff, right? Daddy duty. So let me turn the kayak so I actually see it. And um, that looks okay. All right, let me just check the chat very quick. And by the way, I thank you guys for coming in here and uh, you know, watching me live. You should bring your kayak down here to the upper Texas uh, and a fish with N Nick, knock? With, with knock from Arx Angler. Uh, Nick Nim, uh, yeah, um, he's a cool, cool guy. He does a lot of saltwater BFS. That'll be pretty fun. Uh, let's see. Peace out, Joe. Um, 
Okay. Cool, 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 cool. No one else have any questions. What knot do I use? Uh, for loop knots, uh, I like to use the canoe man knot and also the Mickey Mouse knot and also the good old craze knot. All right. Um, anything else? Cool, 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 cool. Nothing else here. I am at a private lake, my friend's backyard. Uh, Gar. Ooh, Gar sounds fun. Anyway, guys, it doesn't seem like anyone have any questions for me today. Uh, what's my favorite go all round setup? Best go all round BFS setup would be my Aldebaran BFS 2016. And it'll be also on this rod right here. This is the Surinoya Dragon C702L. It has a mounter band, so it's perfect for you know ultralight. And you could do some uh, Texas rigging too if uh, you guys use like a wired Texas rig. And uh, what's really good about having a moderate rod is you could use treble boards too. Uh, what uh, what is a uh, uh, bad about you know treble sometimes is fish spit it very easily, uh, especially when you have fast tip rods, right? When the fish run towards you, you lose all that pressure. But with this rod right here, it has a nice bend and paired with a say a fast reel, you keep you know you uh, reeling up your line. If even fish runs up to you, right? your bend is still there, therefore keep keeping the pressure, right? On the tension on the line, pressure on the fish, and fish should have that hook. So this is my favorite all-rounder rod right here. Uh, often I do fish with the Aldebaran BFS 2016, but uh, my favorite fair converted reel would be Tattoo 100 with a chameleon DIY spool. I have micro bearings on it from Roll Roll 2, and um, uh, I guess include the Tattoo and ultra light but uh yeah uh, the, if i need to consider both uh, all three ultra light and B light it will be out of better in 2016. i feel like the 2016 is just, just perfect you know the spool is not too small not too big it handles a lot of things it doesn't do super well on the super ultra light side like below 1.5 grams which i don't really care you know i, I could put it on an ultra light rod and throw uh two and a half grams and up so that is my favorite out of the box. Anyway, guys, uh, if you guys have any questions, feel free to just uh, put it in the comments after this video goes live, or you guys can comment in any of my uh, videos, especially if there's a video that you guys are watching and it's relevant to whatever fishing I'm doing at that time. Uh, guys, the fish don't wait, and also the baby and the wife don't wait either. They're probably eating lunch right now, and I am starving. Thank you for watching. Peace out.